It's almost time, almost time for the title track, but let's listen to the track just before ending the first set of the album with Henriette Krotenschwanz. I'm hoping, I probably am mispronouncing these so bad, but we, we do the best we can with what we got. So let's go ahead and listen to the final track here on this particular side of the album before we get into the, the big one, the very big one, Phallus Day, which I'm, I'm very much looking forward to, but let's get our appetizers down before we hit the main course. Here we go, guys. vocals and the atmosphere of this one. This track was like a little Costco sampler, right? You grab the sample, you enjoy it, and you're ready for more. I really like the atmosphere in this one. First of all, I couldn't find, like the lyrics don't exist from like what I have, so I don't know what the lyrics are. Uh, but the lady singing, gorgeous, gorgeous voice. Uh, I suppose slightly operatic. It, it has a wonderful feel here. And then there's this beautiful atmosphere, a dark one, but beautiful all the same, that's just lurking underneath everything, moved along by those snares, kind of a, a military movement kind of beat, that like that. Now, something I thought was interesting, um, and I, I don't, you know, I'm listening, so I don't know exactly what's what. So I obviously see that Peter Leopold is the drummer, and then you also have Dieter Surface on drums and electric cymbals. I'm pretty sure both of them are playing at the same time here, and I don't know who's handling that main snare beat, but what I thought was kind of cool is the cymbals. And the reason I think it's cool is because I wasn't really paying attention, I didn't realize that there was two drummers basically, even though I probably saw that before, but the production of that. So while the snare, that roll, that main rhythm is center and spine of the music, the cymbals when they're hit are like on completely different sides, pan-wise. Like the symbols felt like they were more on the right. And I thought that was an interesting way to actually take the drums and give different parts of the drum set a different space when it comes to production, which kind of envelops you in the actual rhythm and those more explosive moments, since that's what you use a crash for in the music, which I, I just thought that was cool. But I, I don't think it's it, I don't think it's just one person doing that. It's gonna be two. So Naturally, the two different people are going to be separated production-wise. But still, a cool choice from the engineering of it all. Uh, and then bass line I thought was stellar. But it's really the mood, the singing, the feel of this one that, that to me, makes it, makes it good. But I'm excited to get into the big one. <laughs> this was all good. You know, I have certain feelings on certain parts of it. But overall, this is really cool to listen to. I'm ready to get into that Phallus Day, the title track. But before we do that... Press the like button. You can also comment. You can also t t support the channel page. You can do a lot of things. But I also thank you for being here. I don't, know, I, I don't even know how I was ending this. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Have a great one. I'll see you later. Bye.